Number 9. Maya Superhighways Revealed by lasers researchers just unearthed something unbelievable. Massive ancient highways hidden beneath dense jungle. How? By firing laser pulses from planes that pierce through trees and scan the ground below. What they discovered wasn't a few dusty footpaths. It was an enormous transportation grid stretching nearly 650 square miles. That's bigger than modern Las Vegas. These roads weren't slapped together. They were engineered with astonishing accuracy. Many ran in dead straight lines for miles. Some even aligned with celestial events, like the winter solstice sunrise. In other words, the Maya didn't just build roads. They built a transportation system powered by astronomy, like an ancient GPS. For a long time, we thought Maya cities were isolated jungle outposts. Nope. They were more like ancient versions of L.A. and New York, interconnected by massive stone highways. These roads carried armies, goods, and ceremonial processions. They were so well constructed, some are still visible after a thousand years of jungle growth. Number 8. The Lost Egyptian City of Thonis Heracleon Imagine an Egyptian version of Las Vegas. That was Thonis Heracleon, a legendary port city with two names. The Egyptians called it Thonis. The Greeks called it Heracleon. For 2,700 years, it served as the gateway to Egypt. If you wanted to trade or enter, this was your checkpoint, complete with towering statues and temples instead of paperwork. Then, disaster struck. In a sudden geological catastrophe, the entire city slipped beneath the Mediterranean. Not over decades, practically overnight. Earthquakes liquefied the soil, turning the city's foundation into quicksand. It was like watching a metropolis go down a waterslide into the sea. For centuries, people believed it was just a myth. But in 2000, divers found it. Submerged ruins, statues, and even a 16-foot red granite sculpture of Hapi, the fertility god. Ironically, the god of floods now rests at the bottom of the ocean. Number 7. Ancient Greek Statues Weren't White We've been seeing ancient Greek statues all wrong. Turns out those pristine white marbles used to be exploding with color. Researchers used ultraviolet light and high-powered microscopes to detect microscopic paint particles on the sculptures, like dusting for 2,000-year-old fingerprints. The Greeks didn't hold back. They painted their gods in electric blues, fiery reds, and even gold leaf. Walk through ancient Athens, and you'd see Zeus painted like he belonged in a parade. One Sphinx statue from 500 BC was covered in dark reds and blues with tattoo-like detail. And the colors weren't just decorative. Different skin tones showed ethnicity, gold signaled divinity, and painted muscles screamed power. For centuries, historians praised the white marble for its elegance. But to the Greeks, our modern museums would look like they forgot to finish dressing their art. Number 6. The Maya's Deadly Water Supply Here's a twist. Maya civilization may have been poisoning itself slowly. It all started with their obsession with the color red. They decorated temples and pottery with cinnabar, a brilliant red pigment that just happens to be mercury-based. Whenever it rained, mercury-laced pigment washed into their drinking reservoirs. On top of that, the stagnant water became a breeding ground for toxic blue-green algae, so toxic that even boiling it wouldn't help. The very water systems meant to protect them from drought turned into death traps. Layers of poisonous sediment still sit at the bottom of these ancient reservoirs, like a toxic history book. Mercury levels were off the charts. When drought hit in the 800s, Maya citizens had to decide, drink poison or abandon their homes. Many chose to flee, which is why archaeologists find entire cities mysteriously deserted. Number 5. Egyptian Ink Was Next Level Tech Ancient Egyptians didn't just invent writing, they mastered it. They used two ink colors, black for everyday writing and red to highlight the important stuff. But here's the kicker. They added lead to the ink, not for style, but to speed up drying on papyrus. Modern X-ray scans revealed the lead actually sank into the fibers of the papyrus, outlining each letter with stunning precision. Without even realizing it, they invented the ancient equivalent of a permanent marker. Even crazier? The chemical composition of their ink, phosphates, sulfates, and molten lead wouldn't be rediscovered until thousands of years later. That's why we can still read their shopping lists and medical notes 3,000 years after they were written. Number 4. The Shigir Idol World's Oldest Wooden Sculpture In 1890, workers digging in a Russian peat bog stumbled upon a giant wooden statue. But it wasn't until recently that scientists unlocked its true age, 
12,000 years old. That's twice as old as the pyramids. Standing 17 feet tall, the Shigir idol was carved with stone tools and beaver jaws. It features seven mysterious faces stacked like a totem pole, along with zigzags and wave patterns. Nobody knows exactly what it means, but the bog preserved it like a wooden mummy, making it the oldest surviving wood sculpture in the world. This single artifact proves that hunter-gatherers weren't just surviving, they were creating monumental symbolic art. Number 3. Submerged Wooden Circles Across Europe Beneath lakes in Europe, scientists found bizarre formations, perfect wooden circles resting on the lake beds. They weren't natural. These structures were engineered with prehistoric tools and mind-bending precision. They were built on land thousands of years ago. Then, over time, rising water levels submerged them. The oxygen-starved waters preserved the wooden architecture perfectly. It's like the ancient builders accidentally pickled their own work. Even more shocking, these builders used complex joinery techniques that we thought didn't exist until the Iron Age. Instead of carving in stone, they worked in wood. Fragile, but now frozen in time. Number 2. Reading the Burnt Scrolls of Herculaneum When Mount Vesuvius erupted in 79 AD, it didn't just destroy Pompeii. It incinerated a villa in nearby Herculaneum, along with its personal library of over 1,000 scrolls. These scrolls weren't burned to ash. They were cooked into charcoal tubes that would disintegrate if touched. For centuries, no one could read them, until now. Scientists used medical-grade CT scans to peek inside without unrolling them. Then they fed the scans to AI software that detected faint traces of ink. One of the first words it translated? Purple, written in Greek. This breakthrough launched the Vesuvius Challenge, where coders and researchers raced to decode the ancient library. Now, for the first time in nearly 2,000 years, these scrolls are revealing ancient writings on philosophy, pleasure, and life itself. Number 1. Chanquilo, the world's oldest solar observatory. In the desert of Peru, over 2,300 years ago, an unknown civilization built a solar calendar out of stone towers. Thirteen towers were aligned perfectly along a ridge, tracking the sun's movement across the sky. On the summer solstice, the sun rose behind the rightmost tower. On the winter solstice, behind the leftmost one. During equinoxes, it appeared between the middle towers, they could pinpoint the time of year within just a couple of days, using the horizon like a giant celestial clock. Originally, these towers were painted in vibrant yellows, whites, and reds. They weren't just functional, they were stunning. And the most baffling part? We still don't know who built it. The civilization vanished, leaving behind this cosmic monument that still works today. And that wraps up today's journey into lost worlds and forgotten tech. If you enjoyed this deep dive into ancient mysteries, hit that subscribe button. I've got plenty more coming your way.